Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and a lot of you have continually asked me to post what's on my iPhone, iPad, and my Mac. And this video is going to show you what is on my Mac. Now this is the latest top-of-the-line Retina MacBook Pro that doesn't have anything custom ordered. It's very, very fast, and I use it for all my videos, and it's incredible how fast it really is in order to do these recordings and editing. It's, it's incredibly quick. So let me show you what I use. This is a very simple dock that I have down here, and you can see there's nothing on the desktop. I use, I use the desktop from time to time and then sort things. I try and keep it as organized as I can. Now you can see down here I have Launchpad, Safari, Twitter, Airmail, Calendar, iTunes, Final Cut Pro, Messages, Napkin, System Preferences, and ScreenFlow, which I'm using right now to record this. It's a great program. It's about $100, and they update it regularly, but it's definitely worth checking out. You can see that popped in from Airmail. That's the email application I use. I really don't like Apple's Mail. It has all sorts of issues, especially when it's integrating with Gmail. So let me slide over to another desktop here, and you can see this is Airmail. This is a wish list for my daughter's Christmas presents. And you can see this is the email here, and we have everything on the left. So I have my different email addresses all here into one email address box. You can sort it however you'd like, but I really like this application. You can customize the way it looks. You can make it into little bubbles instead of being flat with these lines here. You can do a whole lot of things with it. It works really well. It's very fast, and I think it's only around $3. It, it changes a little bit, but it's in the App Store for $3 or something around those that cost. Now you can see down here, it keeps you updated with how many email are coming in. And you can see I just got a subscriber, so thanks very much. I have the calendar app here. Now the calendar app I actually find to be okay on the Mac. I don't like it at all on the iPhone, so I use Fantastical thanks to many of your recommendations. So let me show you what else I have on here. Now these are just your standard fare, Final Cut Pro, and messages, but napkin is something I use to make manuals. Now I've used it from time to time. Let me create a new document and show you what this is all about. I'll probably do a separate video on it just by itself. It's really a nice application. Now the idea is you can make quick and really nice manuals. So if you wanna do an image or a call out, let me just do a screen capture here. I'll screen capture this and show you how I'd use it. Now I screen captured it. We can drag that image in. There we go. You can see there's the image here, and I can resize it, do whatever I want. It has a bunch of different effects. We can align and all sorts of things. I'm not going to go through every different uh, option here, but what I can do is an arrow. I can just do an arrow here, swing it up, point at something. I have all sorts of options for color. I can just draw an arrow too, and circle something and do a call out. It's really pretty neat what you can do with it. So you can do all these different things, and maybe I want to hook this arrow to here. Now it will move around with it. It's a really great application, and I think it's $30 to $40 in the App Store. Definitely worth checking out. It's a napkin, and uh, there's no endorsements here. This is just something I picked up on my own I really like that I use. Now let's go to the launch pad so I can show you all the different other applications I have. Now, obviously, I have the run-of-the-mill things that come free with Apple products, such as iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand. Now it's free, Keynote, Numbers, and Pages. Uh, but my favorite image editor is Pixelmator. And Pixelmator is a really inexpensive image editor that's kind of like... Uh, Photoshop, but not quite. So you can see all these different images I've used to create things. These are things I've used recently, and these are what I use in order to create sometimes different splash images you'll see on my website or on a video. And you can see right here, this was for the Otterbox commuter wallet, and we have different layers and things, and it's not showing everything right now, but there's different toolbars and things, and it's only a $10 application, and it's very powerful. If you're not a power user of Photoshop, I think you'll probably find it very helpful, and it works really well, it's really fast, and seems to work great, especially for its price. 
Now in the launch pad, I do have some other things where I've, spe I've tested speed tests. I have day one, which is a great journaling application. I also have it on my iPhone and iPad and they all sync up. I tried using Simple Note for a while and I've since stopped using it. And I really didn't like the Notes app on, on the Apple uh, refresh of iOS 7, but it seems to have kind of grown on me. So you can see I have all the normal ones. Let's move over a page so I can show you what else I have. Here I have MoneyWiz. I've reviewed this application before. Definitely recommend it. I use it to keep track of everything. And you can see I have Piso. Piso is something I use every single time I do a recording with the exception of this particular video because I'm using ScreenFlow. But you can see it's picking up my, my uh, speaking through the microphone and this was the last video I recorded was for the simple case and what it does is automatically convert my voice into mp3 so if you want to rec record that separately you can do it in GarageBand or bigger heavier programs but I find this this particular one is really nice there's not a whole lot of options it just works really well I hit record and it's recording from whatever I pick right now I'm using a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 to a high LPR 40 microphone, just in case any of you wondered. Let's go back to Launchpad, and you can see in here iBooks author. Now I haven't written a book or anything yet. I've thought of making a, I made a, making a couple different things, but I haven't done that. Under video, you can see I have compressor and Final Cut Pro. I should also have motion around here somewhere. I think I just stopped organizing it at some point. And you can see the different things. I've reviewed some of these in the past. Some of these speak for themselves, such as SimCity. I also do have some After Effects things. In fact, the thing I use most actually is a, 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 the uh, Adobe Converting Program, uh, Media Encoder. I couldn't think of the name of it. But I use Media Encoder the most, for the most part, to convert everything to upload to YouTube. I find it works the best and makes it a manageable file size. Now let me show you Collective. Collective is one of my favorite apps that's very simple. We'll open it up here. And it's actually this little thing here. We'll show Collective. And it keeps track of whatever I've copied and pasted last. So right here I copied the simple case for iPhone 5 slash 5S review, just a title. And I can click on it and now it's in my clipboard so I can paste that somewhere. So if I open a web browser, just paste it there and it's there. If I hold Command, Shift, and V, it pops back up. I can hit the same thing and again it pastes right there. So it's really simple, but it keeps track of every single thing I've copied and pasted and it's in the App Store as well. It's very inexpensive, works great. Now, there are quite a few other applications I have on here. I'll just kind of give you a brief overview of what I have. Sometimes I buy bundles. One of the other applications I use along with Napkin for making manuals is Clarify, and it's very similar as far as doing that. It's just a different workflow. We'll scroll to the right, and I have one password. I still use it, great application. It keeps track of all your passwords. I do use Apple's new iCloud keychain, but I really like one password as well. It kind of gives me a different local place to store my passwords instead of keeping everything synced online, and I've just used it forever. Finally, I would recommend some backup, and this isn't an endorsement paid for by them or anything like that. I just really like CrashPlan. I've used it for a while. It backs up all of my stuff, and everything from my MacBook here that you're seeing to a server that I have. Everything's backed up, and they let you use external hard drives, so I definitely be... Uh, I would definitely check them out if you haven't checked them out yet. And if you have any other app suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to go over every single application as this would be an extremely long video, but I'd love to hear any application suggestions you might have, maybe something you've used recently to edit video that you like, or just a simple app that you like, maybe even a game. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.